So the number one question that I get is, what solar generator do I need for my needs? And the exact answer is, it depends. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to the channel. I wanted to address a few things about the announcement of the Apollo that happened a few days ago, as well as give you an idea of what I generally recommend for different situations, different solar generators, different size kits, and so on. So that way you at least have kind of a guide as to where you want to go with your solar generator needs and what to buy and stuff like that, because this stuff isn't cheap and you don't want to buy something and then find out after that it's not very good trying to sell it on eBay or Craigslist or Facebook market and then find out that no one's going to even give you 80% of what you paid for it because it's a used item. That is why I started PoweredPortableSolar.com. If you email us at info at PoweredPortableSolar.com, all we do is pretty much help people figure out exactly what kit they need for their needs. This ensures that they're not second guessing everything that they got when they order the system that's built for them. So stick around guys, I'm going to go through all of that. I think you'll find it pretty helpful. So first things first, you can go to my live updated comparison chart. This is an apples to apples comparison. There are six different categories to make sure that we're comparing all the solar generators to like sized solar generators. So there's a parameter that they have to fit into. For example, we wouldn't want to compare this little E3 unit to this Ace Volt unit or this Ace Volt unit to a Titan or to a Delta Pro. And so I've broken it down to those different categories between ultra cap, heavy cap, middle cap, light cap, feather cap, and micro cap. All the way from something you carry in your backpack to something you'd have at the beach to run a DC fridge and a fan or something like that, all the way to running your entire house, or run my off-grid cabin, run my RV, completely off-grid, boondockable, all of those things. That's what this will give you a guide for. And then as well, of course, reaching out to us at Powered Portable Solar so we can help fine tune that for you. So real quick on the announcement of the Apollo. Uh, many people are asking if I've sold out or if I'm getting sponsored or something like that. Guys, I got paid zero dollars and zero cents to tell you guys about the Apollo. The simple reason of why I told you about the Apollo before I have one and can test one is because it looks really good on paper, right? Uh, but we have seen uh, systems in, in the past where they look really good on paper and then really suck in real life. So that's always the risk. But with uh, the company's MPS3K, that model, which is current and, and active and is actually a very good unit. It's not super nice looking or anything like that, but for the price and for the quality and everything you get, it's an amazing product. It's super expandable, very powerful, and I absolutely love the MPS3K. So because of that, High Solus has proven to me that they actually put out what they say they're going to put out, which is why I put out that recommendation for the Apollo, because there's nothing that matches the Apollo in terms of expandability. And I didn't want someone to go buy a system two weeks from now and then wait two or three months to find out that they could have had an Apollo and should have, would have, could have gotten the Apollo. And so I was just putting that information out there so that way it helps anyone who's kind of on the fence looking for a unit. Um, and yeah, I won't be getting my units till like early November-ish, maybe late October, uh, whenever they arrive. But once mine arrive, I'll be able to run all of those tests, see if I can back up my house and run everything like I did with my Delta Pros. So just because the Apollo is coming out doesn't mean the Delta Pros or the Titan or the NPS3K or the Renogy Lycan Powerbox or all of these other systems, it doesn't mean that they're obsolete. It's just different units for different uses. So that's what I want to go over here. So really quick, uh, a lot of people know that I've loved the Titan for almost three years now, and that's because literally... There was nothing else to compete with it. It dominated in every way. Inverter, battery expandability, solar, uh, over paneling, everything was amazing about the Titan and I still like my Titan. I've got two of them and I've got one running my RV air conditioner right now. And then I've got another one up at my cabin running for two and a half years, nonstop powering the whole cabin. So that doesn't mean that the Titan is absolutely better than everything else either. It's just different units for different uses. So for small things, just like running a DC fridge, maybe uh, you're on a road trip and you want to charge up some phones when you're at a picnic area, or you just want to keep a DC fridge cool, or you want to recharge a drone battery, something like the EcoFlow River Pro. This is the River Max, which is the older model, but the River Pro is a great option for that. It's expandable. It's got a good base for battery capacity for simple things. For just portable charging. This one here, the 3E, can actually run a DC fridge for about 24 hours. 
all depending on how much power your DC fridge is using. So in that case, the Ace Volt Camp Power 2000 would be way overkill. This is something that would actually work well for like a van life setup. It can do about 400 watts of solar input. It's got a 2000 watt hour battery and a 2000 watt inverter. You can go from running a laptop and fans to running a microwave or a hair dryer. All of those things are possible with this. But this is 100% incapable of powering an RV. There's just simply not enough power that this can get put into from solar or have enough battery to realistically run an RV. But I definitely wouldn't recommend this for emergency preparedness unless the only thing you're running is a refrigerator. If everything else is off the table, then yeah, it's gonna work. My favorite setup for van life is actually the EcoFlow Delta Max, and I have kits pre-built on poweredportablesolar.com so you can get exactly what you need for the van, set everything up, and never have to worry about uh, what you're running. This has got a little bit bigger inverter than this, has expandable batteries, it's got an app so you can monitor it, and it's got 800 watts of solar input. So it's definitely a good unit for small stuff like that. For an RV, it would be stretching it. It would be possible, but I would definitely avoid like the air conditioner and stuff like that. So that brings us to the Titan. The Titan is a really versatile setup because of how the battery separates from the power module, which makes it more portable. So it is very good for RVs. It is strong enough to be a house backup. It obviously works in off-grid setup, so it's a very versatile system because it's so expandable. But right about the same level is the EcoFlow Delta Pro. If you guys haven't seen my videos, I have literally ran my house for days just on my EcoFlow Delta Pro setup, and I still had 50% more solar panels that I could add to the entire system to make it even more powerful. The biggest thing that the Delta Pro offers is the ability to have 240 volt power, which allows me to run my well pump that the Titan cannot do. So again, either one of these units, the Titan or the Delta Pro are nearly the same because one has a bigger inverter, but one has better solar input. So which one do you need? Well, if you're gonna be running a ton of heavy equipment over 3000 watts, well, you gotta go with the Delta Pro. But I find that's extremely rare. Hardly any time is anyone ever running that much equipment for very long at all. And so I'm gonna opt for more solar input. But wait, the Delta Pro can have two of them together and get 240 volt power and double its solar input. So that gives me expandability down the road. So if I know I want to grow bigger with my system, then I'm gonna go with the Delta Pro. I personally do not like the Bluetti AC300. I'm still planning on buying one and reviewing it here on the channel, but the biggest thing I don't like is the idle power consumption rate. It's about 64 watts, which means just to have the inverter turned on, regardless of how much power I'm using, it's consuming about 64 watts, which for its built-on battery, it is about 50% of that battery in a 24-hour period, and to me that seems like a waste. The Titan ranges from like 13 to 25 watts, and the EcoFlow Delta Pro is like a 13 watt uh, idle power consumption rate, so it's very low. But let's say I want to take my house off grid with the ability to actually run central air conditioning or multiple mini splits or something like that. Well, the Delta Pro just simply can't do it. The Apollo is the only system that has been announced that is capable of doing that, and we're going to put that to the test later on. We obviously don't know that for sure yet, but again, I have high reason to believe that there's not going to be any issues because of how well High Solus has done with their previous models. I also am not a huge fan of the Renogy Lycan Power Box. It does have some cool features, but one of the biggest things is I have heard complaints of people saying that it can actually never get more than about 50% of its rated solar input, and that's a big red flag for me. Um, and so I wanna make sure that I get that unit as well, test it out and show it to you guys. I don't like how it, the battery expands and it's like 260 pounds right out of the box. And so that's just a little bit more than what I would like for the different options that are on the market currently. I would rather have something like a Delta Pro because it can do 240 volt, whereas the Renogy Lycan PowerBox cannot. So again, there's just options out there. But the point is there are multiple options to fill multiple gaps, to fill multiple scenarios. So that way we have something that fits your needs, my needs. So if you have more questions, go to poweredportablesolar.com. We've got all the pre-made kits there. Reach out to us, info at poweredportablesolar.com. We'd be happy to fine tune your kit so it fits your needs. If you're looking to run your house and a mother-in-law suite and a dog shed, which is literally someone we had someone needing to do that, then we can make a recommendation. If you just need to run a fridge and a freezer and a light and a fan, we can help you with that. If you're doing an RV conversion or a van conversion, we can help you with that. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you being here, especially to my Patreon members. If you want to be a Patreon member, get personal contact with me. You can go to patreon.com slash minuteman prep. 
and become a contributor. And I appreciate all of you guys, viewers, subscribers, Patreon members, of course. So thank you. Be prepared. I think Solar Generator is one of the easiest and best ways to be prepared because it's an all-in-one system, ready to go, unbox it, charge it up, and you're running everything you need to run. Thank you so much. Be prepared. See you guys in the next video.